are aware as the authority about the concerns, especially in terms of flooding. And uh, what the authority has done is that the board, through the director general, has instructed all the regional directors. To, and they have mapped out areas that previously we've had flooding issues. And then the instructions have been given to contractors on those roads to ensure that the drainage especially is fixed ahead of the rains. The contractors have been instructed to prioritize drainage because of the advice that we received from the weatherman. Uh, and therefore, uh, other than attend to drainage at the tail end of the contract, they have already started with the drainage because of the anticipated rains so that the issues are sorted even as they go on with the other works of the contract as uh, it was signed. We've been wit witnessing a lot of uh, flooding within these roads, within certain sections. Kenna team has identified these sections and uh, instructed the contractor with shovels that I work for to reinstate all the drainage works within this road. From Westlands all the way to Oleserin. We started with the GPO, that is from UON roundabout to GPO roundabout. We did a drain there for which is about in length about 480 meters. That drain we did it for two months, we are done with it and uh, we expect that uh, if the rains come we'll have a good flow of water all the way to malaria drain up to Uhuru Park. The second uh, drain that now we are concentrating on is where we are now. This is uh, from Nyayo roundabout to, to Ganjo to Ngongro. This is where we are and uh, it's a drain we are working on. It's about 450 meters. We've uh, done a bit of blinding and a stretch of about 300 meters. We've done... Uh, we are now doing a reinforcement which uh, this train uh, we expect to be complete with it within the next one month.